Okay, we're standing here with today's honoree, Carla Hall of the CHU. We're going to be chatting with her about today's event. And of course, uh, the first question should always be, how are you doing? I am great. The weather is perfect. I cannot believe it. It's so beautiful today. And of course, I have something to be a little excited about. Because <laughs> this is your first time being honored. This is not like, you know, any regular award. This is the James yeah. Beard Foundation. Yes. What's it like to finally be honored here? I, I feel like it's uh, kind of a confirmation for all of the times, the, the years that I've spent trying to find the thing that I love to do and just kept doing it. And here we are. I've been cooking for about 26 years now. And I'm a baby. I feel like a baby. It's, <laughs> it's, it's just really, it's about confirmation, I think to doing something that I love. And you'll be opening a restaurant, yes. I heard, through the through the grapevine yes. in Brooklyn, right? I'll be opening a restaurant in Red Hook, Brooklyn, and it's Carla Hall's Southern Kitchen. It's, an, it's sort of a love letter to Nashville, which is where I'm from, and um, it's chicken and southern sides, and all the sides are going to be vegetarian, and uh, so I'm excited. I'm really, really excited about it. So this has got to be exciting. I mean, this, you'll be stepping back into the kitchen how long? This is going to be a challenge, right? Um, yeah, it will be a challenge. I haven't been in the kitchen since, like, working in a restaurant since Top Chef, like five years, yeah. Well, I'm anxiously awaiting. I live in Brooklyn. Do so you? I want to, I want to see You're this watching spot. our number one <laughs> visitor to my restaurant right here. Yeah. Right here. There it is, right here. What makes a particular dish or a particular food really good? When everything is right. The food, the china, the music, the ambiance, the decor, everything. I think a dish, it's about a little bit of everything. It's not just one component. It's, it's like, it's, 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 it's a little bit of everything that makes the dish be really great. Yeah. What is your mindset when you do something like this? Well, you know, I'm the culinary director for Beer Guest, which is really a, a seafood-driven styled restaurants, and um, we're actually doing what we call bucket shrimp, and it's an Ecuadorian ceviche. And what's interesting about it is is that the fact that the sh it's something you find on the beach in Ecuador, and people go around with these buckets of shrimp and serve it on the beach. So what we did is we did a play on that. Uh, we flavored it with a lot of fresh tomato, a lot of fresh cilantro and chilies. Um, interesting, we puree some shrimp, add that to the flavoring as well, so it has a deep uh, shrimp flavor. The other interesting part of the dish is what we do is we salt and sugar the shrimp, and by doing that, it brings moisture out. We strain that moisture, that becomes our sweet and salt for the dish. Interesting. Sounds delicious. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's great. So, what's next? I mean, we, we've been listening. We've been going through uh, everything. You know, listen. You know, again, I've I've had a, a great career, and 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 you know, I talked to George Mendez. George, yeah. George. You know, it's interesting. George was a student of mine at at the culinary, and he said, you know, it's funny, chef. He said to me, he says, you know. Um, he said, I was telling somebody about my experience at the CIA, and he said, one chef that kicked my butt was Chef Sam Hazen. Yeah. What I did when I was teaching at the college, I taught, you know, I forgot to mention, I taught at the CIA for three years. Yeah. And, I, you know, at the end of this whole thing, I'm going back there to teach, because I want to get back to what I know. And uh, George said to me, you know, it was amazing how you organized me. And one of the things I did was I would lock up the refrigerator, lock up the equipment cabinet, which really forced the guys to be incredibly uh, uh, organized. So I'm standing here with Susan Angar, the president of the James Beard Foundation, and uh, we were talking about the weather. The weather's been beautiful for yes, Chefs yes. and Champagne. Well, I think Carla Hall was the good luck charm. Yeah, yeah and everybody loves Carla. What went into the process of, of picking the honoree this year? Well, you know, every year, for 25 years now, we're yeah. celebrating our silver anniversary. We honor somebody in the culinary world that's a, that's a legend or someone who is making a difference and really, I think, spreading the passion and enthusiasm for great food, great champagne, and great wine. And Carla Hall is one of my favorite television personalities. You know, I, I know James Beard would have loved her because he was considered 
the first really chef to be on television teaching America how to cook. And if you think about what Carla has accomplished, both on the Chew and even when she first came into the national limelight with Top Chef, she has, I think, spread an infectious joy for cooking. You know, encouraging all of us to get into that kitchen and cook with love. Uh, so today is, of course, Chefs and Champagne, yes. having a beautiful event. Tell me what went into this event and, of course, the pairings that you have done for today. Well, I haven't done set pairings, but uh, we are having the Brut Lache Francaise by Tatanger. Um, so all of the chefs have created a dish that will match pair, uh, perfectly with the champagne. Yeah. So I was going to say, it must be an interesting thing to try and pair to all different chefs' tastes, but tell me about the champagne that makes it, what makes it so special uh, in there, that way? Well, there's a, a larger percentage of Chardonnay in Tatanger and, and most of their blends, particularly the Brut La Francaise, um, that gives it a freshness. I think that makes it really nice to pair with food. So it doesn't compete with the food, it really works well with the food. Um, this wine also is, uh, is grown in so many different vineyards. There are Grand Cru vineyards, so you get a complexity of flavor. And there's also uh, double the time of aging on leaves. So there's a smoothness to the champagne that helps with pairing with food, that gives it a little bit more depth. When I walked into the event today, JJ, so you're carrying a very large box. Yes. Now we know you work out, but you don't have to do that, okay? <laughs> I do the same thing my team members do. It's, I'm not beneath anybody. Yeah. But they laugh at me because they know I go to the gym, so yeah. that was my time to show Big Mike that. Yeah, that's good that that's I can handle the same amount of product that he can handle. Yeah, I agree with you, and I think you should do that more often. <laughs> now, tell me, because this is your first time here, right? My this first is your time here, first... yes. How did that happen? Um, you know, I have like a, a good amount of supporters in the industry, uh, and I think they just put their good word into me to, for the James Beard House to get me here at Chef of Champagne. Um, and you know, Gary Duff is a big supporter of the food that I do, and he really, I think, helped push, push the envelope here to get me in. Um, it's a great feeling. The, the 40 chefs that are here are all really great chefs. Leah Cohen, I used to be our sous chef. Uh, okay. Steven from Calicchio and Sons, me and him went to school together. I see Grayson helping out, Rebel. I see the pastry chef from Oceana, uh, Mike from Delicatessen. Like, these are all my peers and friends, so to be, really be in the same tent cooking with them is awesome.